Hey everybody, this is Dan Hussey bringing our daily strategy update for June 24, 2011 for ImpulseTraders.com. Um, this is also our week ending update. All right, let me fix my microphone there. Um, I have up, up a Dixie chart, Daily Dixie Futures. You know, we've, as much as, much as I want to say the Euro dollar, the Dixie, you know, could have potentially, that's, where is it, reversed might be going lower take a good look at this candle today it's still an inside day on the euro and the dixie so with that being said what that means to me it says to me is as great as the move was today it's absolutely no indication of which way this market's really going to go we need to break the range that we're in i mean ever since really ever since may we've been consolidating and forming a range a wedge and we're still kind of forming that wedge. And you can see it on a you know hourly chart pretty well. I mean we're just we're still holding lower trend line support. And this there's nothing that says this couldn't potentially still be some kind of large triangle. Um, and we could still go higher. You're in the S P married more than ever. They are chopping around together. So uh, keep that in mind that the Euro and the in the S P Euro is like Aussie was last year. It's unbelievable. Um, it just moves tick for tick with the ES. Last year, the Australian US dollar was the same way, uh, more so than the euro. But it, it's quite amazing how this the euro dollar has become the uh, married trade, I like to call it. Okay, so Dixie Futures, I remind you that while we're below 77, we still, or while we're below 78, we still have 70 targets on the Dixie. And likely, and, and technically speaking, targets that are actually new all-time lows. Um, from a, I guess let's step back to a weekly for one sec because I want to, 20 years weekly, drawing pointer. I want to point out the triangle that we had been watching for, <laughs> you know, that's been playing out for multi-year triangle here. And um, it's important to note the lower trend line support for that triangle which would has broken and is now resistance and when support is broken it needs to be tested as resistance now <clears throat> when we broke oh, you can draw it like this now you can see how when we broke we came up you could consider that a first test well we sold off lows held and now we're coming back up to test resistance and sure enough our next measured move on a daily standpoint for the dollar for a bearish dollar stance is at pretty much a 77 figure even which correlates pretty well with um, which correlates pretty well with that 77 figure I mentioned how 76 to 77 is a pretty good sell range for the US dollar uh, in previous videos and analysis and I still like that it is such so when I did point out that there was and we've been pretty bearish the dollar bullish on the euro uh, US dollar lately but I did point out that I did see a pretty good possibility uh, that we could see a rally um, that we could have seen a rally in the dollar to uh, test this resistance area and while we only hopped on that trade just today we, we, we took down 200 pips off of it we had a good trade good trades today but um, you know we still in the dollar we're still caught in this range first of all between these two trend lines and we're still below this resistance trend line um, as well as we haven't quite filled our next measured move and we'll show you that in the euro of exactly where those levels are so we can actually trade them but a 77 short in the dollar is very very intriguing and this is in the Dixie the DXY the US dollar futures cash composite index uh, dollar sign DXY 77 really big resistance figure correlates with you know a trend line not something I think we should just ignore okay um, so let's bring up our euro dollar charts now I want to look at a 180 day one hour chart pointers okay drawing so get rid of everything on this chart right now we're going to start fresh and new now, we know we've gone over this before, 
and I feel like I've, you know, we talk about these same levels over and over again. But if we take a step back to a daily chart in the euro, we we know we have a, a, one, a 178 target way above us in a weekly time frame. And on a daily time frame, we know that we traded a long once to target. So we took, you know, 130 entry, 148.50 target. The next measured move, however, which would be from entry low to target high, a 50% pullback on the daily, has not traded at a 139, um, which actually gets invalidated at 136. So the euro dollar does have room to fall before breaking any longer term uptrend, and the Dixie has room to rally before breaking any longer term downtrend for what is, you know, several hundred pips below us into that what I would call the next major buy area. Now we know that shoot. We know that the dollar and the euro dollar particularly we traded this extension from this little tiny high that happened before the breakout to highs we traded it once blew through targets, made a new series of measured moves inside this extension that took us up into the high, and now we've traded it twice to the pip. We're consolidating now in a wedge between highs and that area. But if you notice, even if this extension trades, if we're going to consider the extension the... Um, can, if, if we consider the extension uh, the measurement rather than the full halfway back that whatever systems are trading this higher is attached to. I'm going to get rid of the halfway back first. I will highlight it so we can see we don't even have invalidation to 137. So we could, I mean, we could potentially break this range to the downside, run some stops, squeeze out longs, and have a nice buying opportunity 137 to 139. You know, looking now, looking for our 154 target that I've been calling for. There's the possibility that we stay in this range for some time, maybe even widen this range out a little bit, and we just chop sideways for the rest of summer. I almost favor that possibility before we break out and go higher into some kind of wedge at highs. But there's also the possibility that the first halfway back short that traded, and that was actually invalidated, was a false break. And the reason I say that is because the ES and where we held resistance when we came back up was that level to the pip. You see that? We came down, fake out break, came down, tested lows, came back up, tested highs, happened to be the same level to the pip. It also, where we held resistance, happened to hold a 50% from highs to lows. It did not invalidate. But it is something to consider that maybe this short was a false break here. Because that does happen from time to time. It's not common, but it does happen, especially in your tops. With that first, the first, the first measured move is sloppy. But it does happen. Now I want to move down to, so we can take a look at uh, intraday, 180 days, 4 hours. And markets, by the way, they move, if, if you're new with us, they move in measured increments. And I'll show you exactly what that means today. Because a 15 minute or a 1 minute euro dollar chart today, it moved like clockwork, perfectly between these levels. Alright, so from highs to lows, well, first and foremost, highs to lows, we traded a measured move here at the 150s, see how it held the 50%, and we blew down to actually this negative 61.8 target. Keeping that same high to lows, again, we traded to 50%, did not break above the 61.8 and invalidate this target, and we have a 139 target, 139.30, which would fill, if you look where those long targets are, the targets are actually They'd be marginal new lows, but they actually happen to correlate with a fill of our 
full halfway back long. So it's something to consider that this might all be corrective chop. Maybe we have an A and we're setting up in an A, B, C, D, E triangle. Possibility. Give a triangle burst down in C. So we have a kind of A, B, and now in some kind of C or X wave, maybe it's a W, X, Y, and a double, double three. You know, one, two, three, X, one, two, three, down. And a double three um, count down to the 139 area where it's along up to our targets. However, we are technically in 